Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to get the nature terrain generator and how to use it to generate any of the terrains and really create a high quality terrain with just a few seconds. First, you can just scroll down, go to the video description. Go to the video description, you will see where to get the terrain generator, the nature terrain generator. I already give you a link here. You just need to click in. And after you click in there, it will lead you to the content store here. What you need to do is just to click here, to search it. You search nature, terrain, generator. Then, the Nature Terrain Generator is a plug-in. You can just get it from here. This is the, the one Nature Terrain Generator. This is a plug-in. Once you get it already installed in your computer, it will become a plug-in in your iClone 7. In order to generate any of the terrain, what you need to do is click the plug-in and you should be able to see a terrain generator. The nature terrain generator, click here. So now, the first one, you can choose how many tiles you want to be. You want the terrain to be. If two is two times two, all right, if two times two, resolution, I choose 2K, two times two, you can see two times two, I choose the terrain. Once I click generate terrains, it will generate for you, just like that. So now, what is the meaning of 2 times 2? How many here? So you, you see, this is a terrain. When you press Q, you see. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the meaning of 2 times 2. You see, 2 times 2. Alright, if I want to delete everything, I just back to the scenes and click the group, hold the shift, and delete the rest of the 2K planes. 32 times 32, that is, then press delete. All right, let's say if I generate three times three, by default, it, it will be three times three. You do not put too, too much here. If your computer is not a very strong computer, don't have any of, of the strong GPU, powerful GPU, then you better make it minimize, make it minimum here. By default, it is 3 times 3 and choose it 2K. And here, I will just choose choose other terrains, for example, the, the grasses. When I click generate, it will generate 3 times 3. And all of these are props. All of these are props, and it is really 1, 2, 3. Four, five, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So all of these terrains, you can edit it. Now it is just flat as what you, you had seen. So you can just select and look at the directions. Where is the right, where is the back? This is a reference dummy. Later, when you want to create a 3D animation, this one you have to make it unseen. Now it is it is a dummy and it is an indicator of the direction as well. Let's say if now I choose choose this terrain and the terrain generator here, you click at it here. Look, this is the center. The center of the terrain of this tile, this tile, you can see. You can just make any adjustments. And here, let's say this terrain, I want to make make the corner to be pushed up. Then it will push up. It will push up this corner at the same time. The rest will also be get influ influenced by it. You see? Now, actually, now you are ma making some hills already. The next, if I just want to push up this part, it will be here. This part you can push it up or push it down. Now this is this is a, a new terrain already. And if I select this, here, this part, the center part, 
and I want to push up the left side. The left side should be should be here. The left side. I can just push it up. Now you can see this is a highland. The rest of the variable, what you can do is click the topology. Under the topology here, you can make more variables here. You can just adjust the topology to make more variations this way. All right. And you can save it as a prop as well. So now I'm going to save it as a prop. I click here, hold the shift and select everything. I will just, just drag this down first and click here. I will attach to the parents of the group. Now, when I click the group, this will be a prop. And of course, I can make it as a ter terrain as well. I can make, make this group set as dummy. This is, the, this is a group set as dummy. And I also can, can just make it, make it a prop. I just need to close first and then what I need to do is click the contents, click here, click custom, click the prop, and here I click plus, and immediately it will save it as a terrain, terrain 01. Now, I delete it. Next time I still can use it. I drag it out, put it here. Now this is another prop that you can use it anytime. Let's say if I go back to the terrain generator, generate it. This one you already can cannot edit it just because of you already make it make it as a as a prop. So in order to re-edit it, what you need to do, you can just try to to ungroup everything here. Because it is under the group, you click here and hold the shift, select everything and detach. Once you detach it, you click the group. Again, you make it restore everything. Select the terrain generator again. Open the terrain generator to see whether can you just readjust it. Yes, you can. You can do it. See. As long as you selected it, you can make a hole as well if you want. This is another terrain that you created. All right. Now I want to save it as a prop again. Then I select everything, click the first one, hold the shift, and then I attach again, pick the parents as a group. Then I go to the content here, wait back to the scene, click the group. Everything will be selected as one. And now I go to the content here, click here, custom, prop, I click plus, and name it as terrain. 02. Now I have two already. That is how are we going to to create any terrain here. So now I'm going to delete this one. Wait, I back to the scenes. It is easier to be to select any of the terrains. Let's say now the terrain, these terrains, I want to really make it as a terrain. I can just press click the group first and make this as a dummy. And now everything selected already, I right click and make convert to terrain. Now it converted to the terrain already once it it's it appears as a terrain here, as a group once. I can go to the content, click here, I save as a new terrain. I click plus. Now I save as a terrain. This terrain can be repeatedly used for for any time when you want to create your 3D animations. This is really a terrain. So now I, I will create more demo here. This is a terrain. Once I want to delete it, I can just click from the scenes. I click here, I press delete. I delete the whole terrain. Now I create a new terrain again. I create, just have a look. The plugin, nature terrain gener generator, nature terrain generator. I want to generate like a sand hill or a rock hill here. I choose 2K, 32, and here, 
the texture I want to select some rock 09 okay just now I already found a rock should be 25 26 28 okay let's say I want this now I create a 3 times 3 32 bits the 32 subdivisions I generate this terrain just a few seconds it generate for me generated and now I want to create a, a few hills here just want to create let's say this one look at the directions where is the front where is the back so now the direction is something like this let's say I want to raise here to edit it the topology I make it higher now at the same time to, to control the morph I want to make it up a bit at the center and this part also I want to create just at this side to make it up up a little bit and the topology I want to, in to increase some so now this is just once and I want to create another layer of the grass back to the generate and this is a new group I want to generate a grass here a grassland for example this one I click generate terrain one two three four so now this is the group zero group zero here I can just click the group zero and I press W and make it up so once I make it up already you can see actually this is this is two layers of terrains I make a mountain hills at here I make a rock hill at here and the rest parts these are just just the grass and I can adjust it adjust the height as well if sometimes I just want to have a little bit of the of the rocks here I can just make it in this way and then the group I make it as a dummy and now this is a new terrain with double layer and you can more you can make it more variations to create your new terrain here all right everything you can just make it easy and export as a prop or export as a new terrain it is up to you and that is really easy to generate any of the terrain by using the nature terrain generator plugins all right that's all for today about how to get the nature terrain generator and how to create and generate any of the terrains just in a few seconds and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animations and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.